Hi, uh, I'm Jarda Martan, uh, Collaboration CSE at Cisco, uh, based in Prague. And in this video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a uh, recently announced uh, in-room uh, control uh, feature for our CE8.2 uh, codec software. Uh, to show how it works, uh, I'm going to use uh, Touch 10 panel connected to a 680 codec and Raspberry Pi with the 8x8 three-color LED matrix uh, called Unicorn Head. As you probably know, Raspberry Pi uh, has a couple of uh, GPIOs, so it can control uh, um, motors, uh, lights, etc. For this demo, I'm going to create a couple of light effects uh, on the Unicorn Head matrix. The in-room controls are configurable uh, via an editor, which is available on the codec itself in part integration in-room control. And you can either download the editor for offline use uh, or launch it directly from the codec. Uh, the editor runs in a web browser, so if you launch it, uh, it just opens another tab. Uh, the panels which can be used for in-room controls are either general or global, which is up here. Uh, then uh, home screen, which is the one down here uh, as, a, as a circle, and in call, which is visible only during the active call. I'm going to work with the global uh, panel. Uh, as you can see, I've already created a couple of uh, controls here uh, for Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm going to control colors. So to make it better under, to understand, I'm going to create a new page called Colors. And I'm going to add red, green, and blue uh, controls. And because I'm going, I have two pictures available for the, for the demo. I'm going to add picture. So these, these are rows, and to each of the row I can create uh, active controls. So for colors, I will add sliders, which generate 0 to 255 integer values, uh, which is exactly what I need for, for my uh, unicorn hat. And I have two pictures, so I will create two option uh, panel. So the pictures will be smile and heart. And each of the widget has to have a, a unique name across all the panels. So uh, either the, 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 the widget names are generated automatically, as you can see down here, uh, or you can name it uh, as you like. So for colors, I'm going to name them red green and blue. And in the picture section, the widget name is picture. And I name them smile and heart. So now I have my panel ready. Uh, I can export it to codec. If everything's okay, uh, export is confirmed. And if I click the, the global uh, control panel, you can see that now I have room and colors available. And if I press, for example, the picture, my Raspberry lights up, same for heart. And to demonstrate that it works dynamically, I will move the sliders. So now I, you can see that the green changes, the red gets added to it, and blue like this, and so on. So uh, this is basically how it works uh, from the administrator or user perspective. Uh, in the upcoming version uh, of uh, CE8 software, the same functionality will be available on the DX series as well. So here I have DX70. 
and again the same panel and you can see on the raspberry the colors changed in the exactly the same way as before Okay, in order to capture the, the events on uh, Raspberry Pi, I had to create a, a simple web server uh, which uh, receives the XML uh, messages from the codec. And on the codec itself, uh, I had to configure the so-called HTTP feedback receiver, uh, uh, which where I've entered the URL uh, of, the, of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and this way, basically, the, the whole uh, communication is, is established. Let's take a look now uh, what happens on the web server running on, a, on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so here you see the, the shell. I run start the web server. You can see it listening on port 5000. And if I press a widget, like smile, it displays pressed. If I release uh, the, the widget, I, I, I receive the released message. And if I start sliding one of the sliders, you can see that the value changes. And once I release it, it gets, I get a message released. As you can see, the whole communication is based on XML. So it's quite easy to parse and react on the messages. I can also configure a, a back channel. That means uh, communication, updating the widgets uh, from Raspberry back to uh, uh, the codec. So for example, if I want to change the fill color, let's say I reset the whole thing. To demonstrate uh, the, the, the change of set settings from the outside, uh, I'm going to uh, change the uh, sli red slider value from 0 to, to 100. Uh, so by running this command, I simultaneously set the Raspberry Pi to light the, the red color slightly and the slider changes uh, as well. To change it to another value, I'll do red 80 and blue 255. And again, you can see that the Raspberry Pi changed the color and the widgets got updated accordingly. And I can use the widgets to change the fill color uh, from, from the codec itself. So we can see that uh, you can even have uh, outside switches uh, which control your equipment and the in-room touch controls reflect uh, the uh, live changes uh, on, on your equipment. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you want to uh, get the code running, visit uh, my GitHub uh, page where you can download the whole demo which I have shown today. Thank you and have a nice day.